in verse, uh, uh, the, the very first verse, it, it says, uh, Simeon, that was called the Niger, and Lucius of Cyrene. These are black people. You know? You know, uh, racism, racism has been for centuries a critical issue for both Christians and non-Christians. Some people pride that some human beings are more or less human than others. That is racism. Which is, to some extent, a violation of the sacredness of human life. One must agree that racism has, has caused indescribable horrors in human history. Horrors such as uh, slavery in America, the Holocaust in Germany, six million Jews killed, the Armenian massacre in Turkey, the genocide in Rwanda, and the Japanese slaughter of six million Koreans, Chinese, Indo-Chinese, Indonesians, and Filipinos. All those massacres derive from the satanic deception of leaders and citizens who believed that they were intrinsically superior to other type of people. It is evident in Acts chapter 17 verse 26, Paul tells the crowd of philosophers in Athens, From one man, God made every nation of men that they will inhabit the whole earth and he determined the time set for them and the exact places where they should live. One man. It is only after the fall of men and the flood of the world, people were divided according to the clans, the languages, the, 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 the lands and the nations. But from the beginning, God designed only one human family, one common ancestry one race which is the human race with various skin colors with distinct cultural patterns dotting the human landscape so whatever color adam and eve and the children were they contain in them a dna designed by god that will eventually develop into a multicolored family across a multicultural world and that's what it is so the call of god knows no color the call of god knows no partiality no favoritism racism is only the byproduct of sin and the and the fall of man that left us with a world filled with an evil affinity for ethnic animosity and uh, although there can be racism in the world it is inconceivable to find racism in the church of Jesus Christ made of people called out of this world to reflect the very character of a loving God do I hear an amen